Hey everyone, this is my second video of me and my brother on the Leopard Gecko Guide. Okay, first, how to care for a leopard gecko. Okay, let's start off, well, what you want before, you want to, um, okay, I'll just show you everything you'll need. Okay, well, to start off with, for a 10 gallon will last its um, leopard gecko its whole life, but I do have a 20 gallon. That. So the first thing you need, well, of course, well, you need all your stuff first, but the, the main idea of the thing is the leopard gecko. I have to get mine out. His name is Phoenix, and it's a female. I don't know why I give it a boy name. So Phoenix here. Nice gecko. And you need some of your no, Darren. Raptors. I'm sorry. You and my brother don't worry about him. Um, but he's my cold little brother. Okay, um, so this is, you need your, um, you all you, you, people think, oh, right, yeah, all you need is your, um, one different, um, thing, something. So what you want, this is a multivitamin. You'll need your multivitamin, buddy, which I like to do, um, with rept, repical, um, repical, or repti calcium. So, repti calcium is my second. And then this is just a uh, vitamin. This one, this one doesn't have vitamin D in it. I mean D3, even though it says it. I know for a fact it doesn't. But this one, this one for sure has um, D3 in it. So, you want one with D3, one without D3. The one without D3 should be your multi. And then this should be your D3 vitamin. Okay. Next, you need a substrate. Ah, oh, shit, I'm mine out. So I have some, rep I have Repti carpet there. And I have large um, Repti shavings. Um, but they're large, so don't worry about that. They will can't get ingested. They won't get, he won't get a pack. And then over that, I just have some moss. Next of all, I should even want, no. Um, first, next of all, You'll need some sort of water dish and a calcium dish. So I just have this little Exoterra calcium that has two different of my calciums in it. This little thing. And then I have a water dish with that water or something else. Then you'll need two different hides. Just two. Um, so two hides. One for your Koopa and one for your two. But I have one, two, three, four. Five hides. Yeah, five hides. So, well, 20 gallon, my will take use up the space. Okay, first of all, I'll show you my um, warm hide. Warm hide, this is a cool, I just got this, too. Even though my leopard gecko is a year old, I don't know if you can see that. It's a little gangster bus that you put against the wall, and when they're sleeping, you can see. So, you put this against the wall so you can see when they're sleeping, and you can watch them. And then I have just that moss over that, so that's also my moist hide. Then I have this little log. Oh, I got dry moss. This little log, don't, this is um not cork at all. So I keep that on the corner. And then I have, I'll show you that later with the decor. decor. Um, then I have this little plastic little meat hide. Then this was actually my grandma's birds. It was like this, it had the holes on it. It didn't have this though, John. Uh, not John. It had rope in here. It was hanging, and then there was little things for my grandma's birdie, like shells to hang. But grandma, my grandma said she never played with it, so I could just have it. And then I have this little Lego hive, which is his favorite. Like, he was always in that, except for when he... Like, they say leopard geckos don't bass, but that's BS I saw last night. So, um, yeah. I saw it last night, and, um, he was up on his school bus hide, because that's where the... Um, that's where the lamps above is this little bus, gangster bus thing. Oh, shit, I'll deal with that later. Okay, so that was, um, yeah, school bus, and then I have Lego head, and then this one. Next, you can just add some de deck decor. Um, so, I have this little plant. It's fake. Then I have a couple rocks. Then I have these pieces of wood. I totally forget where I got these from. Totally. I did not buy them. I, I got them somewhere. Then, I this live, it's called an old granny cactus. It's fuzzy, but when you get deep, when you put your finger deeper, it's hard. Oh, it's on there. Um, don't, I have to clean his cage. Um, 
So yeah. Oh, and then next you'll need a heat torch. Heat pads are the best, even though I don't have one at the moment. I um, have this little Zuma double lamp. Zuma double lamp. There's a red light and a yellow. Wait, wait. They can't see red. Um, they see it as black, but I have this UVB. You know, they don't need it. It's the UVB is probably out. I just use it in extra heat source. This one's a 75, and, that, and this one's a 60 watt. So that's enough heat for them. And the temperature right now is in the cool side, it's 25, so that's perfect. And this side's probably around 35. So, and then, yeah, the UVB's probably out. You don't need UVB. But the, and they don't see red. I was told they see it as black by many scientists. So the black I keep on at night, and then in the day I keep the white and um, red, red on. So that's, yeah, and then you, like, you need all that stuff. So, yeah, his name's Phoenix. So I just, and they say they don't drink or they won't eat calcium. The calcium was over that full in la a couple days, like a week ago. Like, like, it was like this much, it was like an inch, by the way, like this much, um, over, um, a week ago, now it's down below it, they say that they don't drink water, but they really do, don't trust me, I've seen it with my own eyes, he's even seen it, yes, I have, so that's the end of my video, this is my second video, oh, and he's in the guys, he's looking out the glass, hope you enjoyed, Oh yeah, you need thermometer, and then I have the, and you need to clean out the poop, and this is my little poop scoop, poopy scoopy. It's for okay, so let's end my video. Thanks for watching. Bye. -bye.